you know, Cat, I wanted to do this cool thing where I turn around on my, like, chair at the beginning of the video, but now that you are on there, I can't do that. How does this information make you feel? If you ask me, that's kind of a dick move. Pauli. He knows he's done something wrong. Oh no, he's just winking at me, motherfucker. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to this new video. You know what day is today? Your birthday! N no. It my birthday is on the 23rd of August. You should know that. I don't know. We're like the same person. Anyway, <laughs> today is Valentine's Day. And I know it's hard to believe, but I actually do have a boyfriend. I just can't see him today. Because of reasons. Let's give an, a round of applause for shitty, I mean, I mean, strict parents. Yes, please don't actually like clap right now. I, I'm pretty angry about it. <laughs> so, after taking out every bit of hate I had in every cell of my body on a perfectly fine dead tree, I decided I was ready to cope with my anger issues in a different way. So, I decided it would be fun to just read some of the jokes. D jokes, please. I hope you can hear these heavy, heavy air quotes on my bilingual dictionary calendar that I got because my elderly neighbor, ex-neighbor actually, gifted it to me because she can't speak English and it was probably just laying around, so thanks for that. These jokes are all shit. <laughs> so I will be writing them. I'm just kidding, it was nice sitting to do a verb, but like, these jokes are still very bad, so yeah. <laughs> let's begin. I know this is a calendar, so I should probably explain why it's still on Febru Fe February the 3rd, even though it's, it's Valentine's Day today. Um, it, I, I know this may sound weird without context, but you know, there was a bowl of rice on top of it and I was just a lot too lazy to like move that bowl because like It's rice and and also these I, these jokes are just not worth it. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, let's let, let's just start. <laughs> An old man and his grandson were walking in the local cemetery. Stopping before one gravestone, the old man said, "There lies an honest man. He died owing me fifty bucks, but he struggled to the end to pay off his debt. Debt, debt. If anyone has gone to heaven, he has." They walked on a bit farther and then came to another grave. The old man then said, Now there is a different type of man altogether. He owed me 100 bucks and he died without ever trying to pay me back. If anyone has gone to hell, it's him. The little boy thought for a while and then said, You're very lucky, Grandpa. Why? asked the old man in surprise. Well, whichever place you go to, you'll always have some money waiting for you when you get there. It's a good kid. Good kid. I guess the joke was kind of like, kind, kind of smart. Like, like kind of smart. I, I'll give it a seven. Like seven out of 10. Bye. Oh, nice. This is a wife husband one. Get ready for probably some sexist or misogynistic joke. Um, 
Okay, what the fuck? Wife, do you want some dinner? Husband, sure. What are my choices? Wife, yes and no. You get it? Because, like, the husband thought that the wife was, like, already, like, telling him, or, like, you know, like, he was thinking that... I don't like this joke. It's stupid. But I guess plus points for for a stupid human in that joke because I like them. I'll give it five. Five out of ten. It's like meh. Didn't get it at first because it's stupid. Before taking an exam, the professor tells the class that any exam paper that is not on his desk in exactly three hours time will not be accepted and the students will fail. <laughs> mood. Uh, after three hours, all the students have handed in their papers, except for one, who continues to write. Finally, he attempts to put his paper on top of those already on the professor's desk. I'm not going to accept that, he the, the, says... The, 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 <laughs> I can read, says the professor. It's too late. The students looks, student looks at, astonished. Don't you know who I am? he asks. No, as a matter of fact, I don't, says the professor. Good, says the student, and quickly shoves his exam paper in the middle of the pile. That's... That's not half as dumb, you know? That's... that's just... that's just... it's not really a joke. But like... Sick com comeback. It's like, this could be on r slash that happened. <laughs> I guess... Because it's not a joke, it's really not a joke. Like, four out of ten because it's not a joke, but it's it's cool. So, yeah. Why does this always happen? <laughs> okay, no, I'm chill. I'm chill, dude. I'm chill. Totally chill. I'm like so chill. Nothing can stop me. Uh, there's still the audio. I'll just I don't know just animate the whole thing That's that's just so much work, but whatever Let's just do that. I mean, I don't have anything to do as the fucking class press of my class of my st st fucking <laughs> It's okay Let's go on. Let's just get going a guy asks his waiter in a seafood restaurant how they prepare their lobster. The waiter replies, there's nothing special. We just tell them straight they're gonna die. <laughs> Actually, mood. <laughs> I mean, it was a joke. Six out of ten. I didn't thought it was that funny, but like, yeah, dying, I guess. I'm... I'm a Gen Z kid. I, I I need to think that's funny. So, yeah. <laughs> Young Bobby. I like that name. Young Bobby had never seen a plate of jelly in his life. He sat there at the dinner table, staring at it for a long moment, watching it quiver. I hate that word. Go ahead and eat it. His mother ordered. I can't eat it. The boy, boy replied in amazement. It isn't dead yet. Why are there so many jokes about death? And also, how can you never, like, how old is this kid? Like, one years old? Wow, then he can, like, speak pretty well. T two out of ten. This isn't a joke. It's not funny. A funeral service. Oh, <laughs> another joke about death. <laughs> Funeral service is being held for a man who has, ju has just passed away. At the end of the service, the pallbearers are carrying the casket out of the church when they accidentally bump into a wall, shaking the casket. They hear a faint groan. They open the casket and find that the man is actually still alive. They let the man out of the casket, he lives for ten more years and then dies. Once again, a ceremony is held and the end of it, at the end of it, the pallbearers are again carrying the casket of the church out of the church. As they carry the casket towards the door, the wife cries out, Watch the wall. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't like that the innuendo like 
like straight couples hate each other. Don't think it's that funny, but I, it's a joke. Six, six out of ten. It's kind of you know. <sighs> How do fleas travel? They itch a ride. Kill me, please. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I mean, it's a dad joke. It's not funny. It's really not. Four out of ten, because it wasn't even like a good dad joke. Okay? It was it was shit. You can't can't tell me otherwise, I'm sorry. Last year, my big sister took part in the new Olympic sport of sun tanning. She didn't win, unfortunately, but at least she got a bronze. <sighs> okay, that one was funny. You know what? I think it was the best. Till now, it that was the best. Like, this is the best joke you have? I think that says something about your humor. A nine out of ten. Nine. 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 You get it? Because like nine is no in German. Okay. A vicar waited in line to have his car filled with pet pet petrol 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 pe petrol help. Uh, just before a long holiday weekend. The attendant was working quickly, but there were many cars ahead of him. Finally, the attendant mo motions to him motioned him towards awake toward awakened vacant pump Fuck. <laughs> reverend said the young man i'm so sorry about the delay it seems as if nowadays everyone waits until the last minute to get ready for a long trip the vicar chuckled i know what you mean it's the same in my business And last one, because these people were so fucking lazy, they just put Sunday and Saturday on one page. A man walks into a shop and asks, do you keep stationery here? The shop assist assistant replies, no, some st sometimes I wriggle about a bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. 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 Fucking end the video. And I can't. This did not help me at all. At all. Goodbye. You know, it, like, guess what day is it? Guess what day it is on the day, the, the fuck. <laughs> guess what gay, dip, gay? <laughs> guess what day is on, like, the, the fuck. <laughs>